So friends, here we are entering Pine Bluff, Arkansas, population 49,083. That's a pretty large town. I think this may be one of the largest I've been to in a couple of days. So we're gonna get in here and Elvis played here from Bibri, I believe one time, two shows in one day at the high school gymnasium. So let's get in here and see if we can find it. They must make paper here because I smell you know, paper, I don't know if you've ever smelled that. A paper factory doesn't smell very good, and that's what I smell as soon as I got to Pine Bluff. So I was expecting it to smell like pine. Hmm. So friends, this is the Pine Bluff Convention Center. Elvis played here in 1976. So we're going to swing in here and Take a little look, see you want to. This would be the back part, and they say that's the Plaza Hotel right here. I don't know if they were at that hotel or not. Looks like it's closed down, boy. This this town looks kind of abandoned too, sadly. But this is the back entrance. of this part and this was put here I believe Elvis was the first place in person to play this building I am pretty sure that I'm right on that but we're gonna see stay tuned we're gonna get out and take a little look see so friends we are at the Pine Bluff Convention Center in Pine Bluff Arkansas Elvis played here in 1976, and I believe that this was the first show played in this facility was him. Let's see if we can find a date on this building. This looks like a marker right here. It says, the kiss of the sun for pardon, the song of birds for mirth. One is nearer God's heart in a garden than anywhere else on earth. In loving memory from your family and friends, Manuel Karras and Betty Karras. So I don't know what that means. <laughs> I mean, I know what the, the words mean, but I don't know why that would be here. But we'll see if we can figure out what this place, how it looks. This is through the lens. Yeah, this part is small, but I would say that this would be the entry point to go into like the bigger point, which would be over there to the right. I'm gonna turn my, turn my camera and see if I can get a, a photo of the doors I can. So I'd say that this is, you go in here and go there to go to the concert. So I would think the concert would have been on this end down here but I'm gonna drive around the building. As you can see, the building is large, but this part is really tall right here. So I would say that that would be kind of a theater type setup, but you can see that it goes all the way down there, but this is a convention center, so they're gonna have several rooms. So let's just drive and see what else we can see. Yeah, this side looks more likely to be, it says entry C. It looks more like some place that they would have driven inside of. This is on the left side of the building from the front. You see there's a walkthrough door and a drive-in door. They could have driven inside right there. Let's keep on going. These are bleachers that they've stuck outside. Who knows, those could have been used during those shows. Let's go keep on looking. Not a lot of information about, about this place or this show, but it was the very first concert ever played here. And it was in 
All right, so Elvis also played here in the 50s, so we're going to go try to find that. There was a restaurant that we know that he went to, but sadly the restaurant's been torn down. But we know what it was. This is the convention center, and you see what I'm talking about. That looks more like that's got that seating, like a theater seating in it, which was not Elvis's style. So I believe he played in this part right here, and I believe that he would have loaded in from the back, back here. So they would have gone through these back doors right here. All right, we're at the back of the Coliseum, and we're gonna come out and go to the hotel, which is on East Harding. Should be this way. Now, which way it is on Harding, I don't know. But imagine Elvis is in the car, and they're heading right down here. He's drying his face off, hot, tired, ready to rest, probably hasn't eaten yet. It was a Holiday Inn. I don't know if the Holiday Inn is even still down here, but I do know that it was on this road. I haven't been yet, but we're going to find it, I bet you. Or at least find a spot. All right, when we get here, it's telling me to go left, and I may believe it. They generally stayed relatively close to where they were playing, and if there was a Holiday Inn available, they played there, or they stayed there. And I think one of the reasons was Holiday Inn, for those of you that do know, I won't tell you, so just close your ears, the ones of you that don't know, Kenan's Wilson, the founder of Holiday Inn, was in Memphis. In fact, that's a, one of the ways that Sam Phillips really made a lot of his money was investing in Holiday Inn stock with Kimmons Wilson. So that's why the original hotel, Heartbreak Hotel at Graceland, was called, what, anyone, anyone? People are screaming at the screen right now. Wilson World for Kimmons Wilson. And you see there's a Regency Inn over here to the right now. There's a bunch of little hotels right along in here. So we're gonna, check them out and see if we can figure out which one it is. I don't know that it's any of them, but we're going to explore a little bit. Stay tuned. I won't put you all through the paces of this, but a few of you may want to watch, so stay tuned. There it is. This one right here looks like it would have been the right place. It looks familiar and it looks abandoned. So we need to capture this before it is no longer. That is definitely an old Holiday Inn sign, the bottom part of it, no doubt. If you don't recognize Holiday Inns, that is definitely it right there. So he would have stayed right here and this place is abandoned so it will be torn down at some point so that is one of the reasons that i'm out doing this kind of stuff friends it is important that we capture and why do people have this need to come break windows and destroy things i just don't understand it and they live around here or they wouldn't be here so what is it about a person that makes them want to come destroy places like this why what does it gain you all right, let me do some, some research here. Stay tuned. So after investigating it a second time, I'll show you. That is the, the sign out there. You come off the roads, you come right down the main shot right here, right around the corner. They would have pulled up and parked right there about where that bunch of glass is right there, somewhere thereabouts, or those boxes, somewhere in there. The person taking the photo would have started here, shot this at this angle, kind of hide behind the pole, 
move to here because they got a little braver. In the photos, you'll see that pole and you'll see just a little bit of this. Then they moved to here, to here actually. And in that photo, they're close enough that this pole is gone in the photo, but you see the policeman standing there and you see the gutter. Now that gutter's a little tighter, but there was a different gutter there at the time. Had it was, or it was loose. And so you can actually see this in the photo and some of the brick. And he goes in that room right there. So this was definitely his room. And I feel like if this was his room, and there's, forgive me, there's some, some cussing on the walls as these idiots come in and do this stuff, but this would have been Joe's room right here. No doubt happened right here, friends. That's not maybe. This is the spot. It all lines up. So somebody took the numbers off of that. So somebody knew. This would be 101. Should be 103. 105. 107. For Elvis. So 5 and 7. So Elvis would be 7. Yeah, 109. So this should be 111. Oh, okay, it is. And 113. Oh, no, 115. So this should be 113. That's what threw me off. That one doesn't say. So that should be 115. 119. So they actually start jumping up higher numbers faster the further down that you get. So somebody that probably knew Elvis stayed in there took those numbers, which I understand. I can tell you if I was here and they were there, I'd probably get them. <laughs> but irregardless, 107, 109. And I'm ashamed that it's in this shape, but that's the shape that it's in. Now we know. So that right there is another piece of the Elvis puzzle. He stayed right here, right on this road. The Coliseum that he played at in September of 76, if you go down that road and turn to the right, it's back off of there, not very far. There it is. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.